So, week eight is upon us, and we've got three races from Newbury to start the week. And the first up is the two mile hurdle handicap, Levy Bald. So, number one is San Jose Buddy for Vinnie Gerard, Fire Inferno for Paul Rhodes, Spectacular for Joshua Sutherland, Banana Boat Bunchable Racing, Harold Humid for Daryl. Darren Thompson, Darren Thompson, Shinobi for David Laird, Evelift Carter for James Shea, Woodland Gardens for Paul Rhodes, Trojan Bridge for Martin Leadham, Wrecking Strand for David Robertson, Brilliant Melody for Alex Cherry, Limelight for Craig Beckwith, Blue Riband for Kevin Meenham and his second start, Small Chances for Alex Cherry, Long Way for Thomas Rogers, Alien Assassin for Pontypool Racing, and Oscari History makes up 17 for Ben Bonici. Nice big field here, a new break, Stars got him away. Over two miles. They sort themselves out. It is a brilliant melody that's going to take them along, although reluctantly. For his neck. A few of these are going to go wide as we swing left handed here at Newbury, but not too wide, not too bad. Big long sloping turns here, but it is brilliant melody that leads us. As you can see, a few have gone wide. Drop down here, well, the poor old Grey, which I think is Evelyn Carter. Maybe an alien assassin towards the rear. Pontypool silks. As we finally get to the first of the seven hurdles, it's going to be brilliant melody that's going to lead them over it. A couple of lengths up against the fence, spectacular. Just on his outside is Long Wave and Wrecking Strand. Between those horses is Limelight. We've got San Jose Buddy in there, Fire Inferno and Harold Humid. And the Grey. That wider, which I think is alien assassin, all but over the first. Towards a rear of Shinobi. Banana Boat is the worst of all. Small chances, but it's Alex Cherry's brilliant melody that leads us. We go through the first three quarters of a mile, and it's brilliant melody by about four from the middle of the course, long wave as they get to the second. A little bit slow over at the leader there, the rest are over it. It's still a brilliant, brilliant melody by a few lengths from a wall of horses. The one up against the fence is the spectacular for Josh Sutherland. Wider still is Edith Carter and Long Wave as they get to the third. The leader gave it plenty of air there, and he's now been joined by Spectacular. Long Wave and Edith Carter still running in the centre of the course, and right outside of that is the grey alien assassin as they start to peck over towards the route. Not many that anything could win it from here. We're probably only six, seven lengths from first to last, and it's still a brilliant melody that's holding the lead. It's spectacular. Just dropped back a little bit. Long wave and either the car to come over towards the row. We've got a grey alien assassin pushing through now is Oscari history for Ben Benici. The yellow, the yellow cap also pulling, pushing through there is David Robertson's wrecking strand. But as we come down to the final term, with three to go, it's Long Wave that takes it up from Brilliant Melody on his inside. Spectacular being pushed along, what Wrecking Stand still got plenty left, small chances out wide, as is Alien Assassin. And I think the other Pontypool horse of which is Banana Boat. But as they get to the fourth, so with three to jump, it's Long Wave still leading from, with Brilliant Melody, a Scary History, the first of the Greys, and the two Greys on the out wide outside are Alien Assassin and Banana Boats. A few that haven't got any room here, they're having to push wide the Green Silks, mainly Blue Ribbon and San Jose Buddy. As they go over the fifth, it's Small Chances joined Long Wave and Brilliant Melody and Blue Ribband, but it's Small Chances that takes it up as they go over the penultimate from on the inside, Long Wave. So Long Wave holds it now as we come inside the final quarter mile, and it's Long Wave from Blue Ribband in the Kevin Mina and Silks in his blue riband that finally takes up but here comes Limelight out of the pack also trying to run on his Trojan Bridge a few mistakes there but it's blue riband that still holds inside the final third and it's blue riband from Harold Humid Harold Humid coming up from no one it's Harold Humid here comes Trojan Bridge but it's Harold Humid blue riband it's Harold Humid that's going to take it up just inside the last Harold Humid from blue riband in second Trojan Bridge was third in there for Harold Humid for uh, Delilah Thompson Sorry, Darren Thompson. <laughs> but it is. Uh, oh, and as the stewards. It could well be Harold Humid pushed his way through. We don't see many DQs. And he hasn't been disqualified. Jumped the last well. So Harold Humid takes it for Darren Thompson. Second was Blue Raban for Kevin Minahand. Third was Trojan Bridge for Martin Leadham. Fourth was Woodland Gardens for Paul Rhodes. And fifth was Shinobi for David Robertson. Let's move on to our second race. <laughs> 